Greetings friends, I thought I'd give you an update on this butte and this is the first time I've put the uh, frame uh, plate on semi properly. You can see it's definitely up higher on the right. Uh, we've got an issue here that I need to sort out uh, with regards to removing some of that. This could be remedied by just putting another washer here when it's ready to go. The main thing I've concentrated on was strengthening everything up a lot. Like these bits here where I've randomly welded nuts and washers on. Uh, the bolt comes down and is then uh, restrained or kept in place by a washer and a bolt either side which can be raised or lowered. Uh, this for example was, I don't know if you can see, there's two washers there. I uh, started out with the only one I had which is really thin. Uh, and ended up getting some of these nice ones. I had to cut the corners off these because the holes are the different different size and I made sure they lined up with the fundamental priority being that uh, they can go up and down and they can. This is exactly the same here. That was a really thin washer and I've welded another one on. Uh, my shaky shoulders don't help with uh, my welding which definitely looks very interesting. Here, uh, I didn't want to pour tons of weld into these in case we end up bending the plates. So I've got some nice big splodges on the inside as well, there and at the back. Uh, this bolt is going to meet, believe it or not, this bolt here. Uh, hopefully I haven't really showed you that since I painted it. This is kind of a strut holder, that's one end and I'm hoping it's going to meet up here and that they're, they're going to be connected by some of that stuff that I've got. Another part which I want to show you is this uh, where the this thing interfaces with this thing uh, that was only one washer and it wasn't strong enough so I got another washer there and there and was well happy that it lined up perfectly so the bolt can come in and out this thing uh, although pretty ugly looking what that means is that if it doesn't run properly with the motor in the back because that is a, a risk if I'm honest then these would be hacked off and then we could move everything forward <clears throat> which I don't really want to do because we have got I am planning to have the 25 kilo blades on the front so yeah I think that's about it but I feel very positive about it because it's so much stronger than it was I can feel even just with without the uh, supports which obviously go from here to the back to carry that extra weight of the tail and uh yeah, like I say, if there is a problem here with it being level, which it looks like there is, then another washer on the left will sort that out. Whew. But yeah, so let's have some likes for that. It's looking pretty good with the new double bearing device, which hasn't been set up properly. And we've got this plate here, which will act as a fail safe in the event that this, say that it, this, say this was just held in by the grub screws, in the event the grub screws gave up holding, that plate there means that it can't drop down. Uh, so that, this thing will have a bolt and a washer here and a bolt and a washer here. This one. That kind of shows it at maximum tilt. Uh, obviously I wouldn't have it like that, but I just want to see if I can find washers and that to, so you can see what it'll look like when it's there properly. That's it just sat there being, uh, the frames being held to this thing by the bolts that are tightened in and then that goes up like that. Uh, I've got some weld on there, I'm just going to try and deal with that. So yeah my friends, that's pretty much a wrap and uh, I'll just carry on trying to get it done. See you soon, cheers. Sweet! There's those blades, been drying all day, looking pretty good. Sweet.